So people's first experience in creating VR content is 360 video usually. And that gives you something like uh, your head's inside a, a beach ball. So uh, wherever your head is in the VR eyewear, where it's cardboard, uh, Oculus, true to vibe, um, you're in this spherical uh, depiction of the world where the camera was. So that's where your head is, wherever that camera was. Uh, and then you can move to a higher level sophistication and something that's more neuropsychologically true and having stereoscopic 360 capture of the world. Uh, so then of course, uh, what's the famous word? Parallax? Parallax. Parallax. <laughs> I can never say. <laughs> so anyway, it gives you a more neuropsychologically true aspect of uh, the viewpoint from wherever the camera was in the real world. Then to have a, a further level of sophistication, of uh, neuropsychological true capture of the world is by filming uh, volumetric video of people and places. And so that's more or less requiring us to individually film uh, and, and copy more or less real world objects or people. And then uh, in VR environments, we can drag and drop each and every object or subject or person uh, to create a new world, which actually uh, looks very true neuropsychologically, but the added bonus is we're able to relight all those elements as though they are there for real in, in this new world you've created. And then the next level of sophistication, which is in a sense a holy grail for the whole VR industry, is light fields. And uh, one company, uh, Otoy, is considered a, a leader with uh, managing synthetic light fields. Uh, so light fields are often uh, associated uh, with 5D capture of the world. So you're capturing uh, more or less every angle of light uh, to every point. So you, you're able to uh, more or less like capture this room we're in and then in VR, and especially in something with room scale VR like HTC Vive, you'd be able to walk around this environment and we would have all the depth and the lighting replicated authentically and neuropsychologically true. And so uh, there's another company called Lytro, which is essential to the mix in Lytro's developed this 360 uh, uh, light field camera called Emerge. Uh, it's super expensive at the moment, uh, not only in dollars, but also data. And so there is ambition amongst many companies to overcome that uh, through hardware and software. And so whilst Today, our company Humance is focused in and around a volumetric video. We do know ultimately uh, the, uh, the, the end goal is towards light field.